This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part? No, wait. This this isn't part of the Comet Ison WTF NASA Earth series because I don't have time to put the awesome editing and writing into it that I usually put in all my other shows. But I am naming this one Doomsday Asteroids and Awake Comet Ison. I am to punch drunk sad blues over bad news. We just lost another American spaceship camera robot. Epoxy. It's on the cosmic pyre adrift and alone. With nobody to talk to. That feels just like me. Alright y'all. I apologize for not being able to make any videos lately. I have been very slammed at work. Today I worked a 13 hour day. And tomorrow it shall be more of the same. So, I will, I consider my YouTube channel like my girlfriend, and I consider making videos for it like making love. So, I will get back to making love to my YouTube channel as soon as I can. And I'm sorry I haven't been able to keep up with the Common Ison story. And I also apologize that um, this does not qualify as technically one of my episodes. So, I'm just going to wing it, and I'm going to put it all up there. I hope you like it. I hope you don't like it. I've had a lot of people asking me. So, I'm going to do a quick one. I don't know if it's quick, it's just not going to be edited well. And I'm, and I'm just going to ramble. Okay, good. On that note, ever since I got the news, about 10 days ago, that the epoxy deep satellite spacecraft super cool robot had died, I've been having a wake. I've been mourning the loss of that cool robot, because cool robots are rare. Anywho, but so during that period where I haven't had time to edit, do all the proper research and everything, I've just been writing down my thoughts, how I felt. Losing a good friend like that. Because he's giving me a lot of cool images of comics, you know? Good old Deep Impact. Well, so yeah, I wrote 38 pages. A lot of them are double-sided. Technically, it takes about two to three minutes per page of audio. Like, if you read a whole page, it's like two or three minutes. So, um, the official Comet Ison Dirty 30 episode should be about two hours long. But it'll pr be all random ramblings about nothing. Space, the government, Ison, girls. Robots. Hey, here. So people have been asking, like, hey, what do you think is going on? What is going on? And as I told you guys a couple of episodes ago, this Joker is wild. I mean, everything that has gone on with it has been bizarre. So when NASA loses their comet hunter, Epoxy Deep Impact, it's part of the course where it's super weird. It died like right before, the day before, man. And uh, like I, I, I cover that in the 38 pages, which I will eventually get into. But I'm just saying that overall, it seems to play right into the this Joker is wild. I don't know if it's just a boring comet. I don't know if it's a stud comet. I don't know if it's an Ibiru. I don't know if it's a spaceship. I don't know if it's a black dwarf. I don't know if it's a neutron star. I don't know what it is. And the people with the most powerful telescopes in the world seem to have turned into those pitchers. You know how they can be really great pitchers in baseball? Like, throw 95 mile per hour strikes, curve balls, knuckle balls, and then all of a sudden they can't throw the ball to the catcher anymore. Like somehow they just keep throwing it straight in the dirt. And they just can't throw it straight, they just boom, right in the dirt. You're like, what happened to them? I like, I don't know, it's all mental. Well, it seems like the professional astronomers have entered that zone to where they can take their ball, throw it in the dirt, and that's about all they can do. And then they can write a letter and say, hey, sorry, we threw another one in the dirt. At this point, we're like, hey, it's okay, we're used to it. And I told you that shit was going to happen in <laughs> this Joker's Wild that I don't know what the hell is going on. This could be the greatest snipe hunt, red herring hoax of all time. But then that would make us go, hey, what are they really distracting us from? I do believe I have mentioned in my 29 episodes, probably the, the economy, economics. Anyway, so I pulled up my screen to just see what the common license story of the day was today. And you got another discovery.com talking about like doomsday deja vu, making fun of people who think comets might be bad. And then it goes out of its way to just say that this comet will not do anything bad to earth. It's like, how do y'all know? Oh yeah. And they started the article off with, well, yeah, Comet killed all the dinosaurs, but this one is not going to hurt us. If you got to go for the Doom and Comet Ison, 
The most obvious one is the dusting. And photos have been out, but now it's coma. Then tail are four to six si times the size of Earth in dust. You don't know what the dust is made of, even if it's just normal dust. You know, too much normal dust is bad for you. It can cool down the Earth's atmosphere. It can heat up the Earth's atmosphere. You don't know what it's going to do. Then, you know, when you look at the orbit of how it's going to go around the sun, how do they know exactly where it's going to come out? They may have a million computer models that show you, oh yeah, it's exactly where it's going to come out from its perihelion. But I don't believe that. Not 100%. I bet they're at least 1% off. And the Federal Reserve, Goldman Sachs, and all those people, they use those same supercomputers to justify credit default swaps and derivatives. Like if you punch all the numbers into this machine, it'll somehow spit out some type of profitability for you and your 85 triple tranched mortgage-backed securities. So, I don't know what the hell's going to go on. We may have World War III over Syria any day now. There may be no doom a coming, which would be cool with me. I would like to kiss a pretty girl again, and I mean that 100% sooner than later. And who knows, maybe this doing. me. I just lost my train of thought. See, I was thinking about women. They had an effect on me. It shut my brain down. All right. Oh yeah, and ain't it, ain't it kind of crazy how uh, Comet Ison is passing very near every planet in the inner solar system. It's going right over Mars, right by Mercury, Venus, Earth. That's that's interesting, right? And I always get kind of tripped out by playing with the orbital, and I've played with that orbital a lot, like it was a cute. Booty surprised the orbitals like I'm tired of you touching my forward and backward buttons. I'm not just buttons. That joke probably failed massively. See I'm nothing without my fancy editing. Alright, so I'll do my best to get comment icing. Dirty 30 out as soon as possible. There's a lot of good stuff in there, I believe. Anyway, if you like my type of stuff, if not, if all doom is for you, this is not the channel. If all science is for you, this is not the channel. If all Thor is for you, this is your channel, baby. And dude, what's up dudes? Oh yeah, and I haven't gotten into asteroids. Crap, I forgot about this. I don't have to cover this. The last video that I did, last Thursday, I believe. Wow, has it been that long? It has. Okay, I was talking about all these potentially hazardous near-Earth asteroids that had suddenly showed up. And then guess what? They found like a 0.4 lunar distance one and another 0.8 lunar distance one that passed right by us in the exact same time. Except they didn't find them until like three days after they passed us. And I've noticed the Minor Planet Center has not been updating their stuff at all. I could think the last time I checked, the 29th of last month was the last time they updated. And they found several since then, dudes. Step up your game. Like I said, everybody with the telescope. Maybe telescopes turned into like a cross between crack and reality television. Why would that be? Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, so asteroids. They happen to be coming everywhere. Look at that. Lunar distances. Space fences shutting down. Everything is crazy. And as I'd said before, having Elenin and then Ison and Lemon and Anki and Pan Stars and Sliding Springs coming. If a comet supposedly brings bad supposedly brings madness on the planet, then I think all these comets. Yeah, brought madness, because the world is getting a bit madder every day. So let's turn that shit around, shall we? One reason I work so hard at work, because I like to win. And one reason I like to work so hard on my YouTube channel, is because I like to win. And like, if I make a really good video, 
Nobody loses. So you can have games that you play. Everybody wins. So let's do that, party people. And forgive me if this is my worst video ever. I promise. I think like this Friday, I might not have to work 12 to 14 hour days. So, baby, 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 as soon as I can, I will return to you and give you that sweet video making you love so much. You just wait for me, okay? And I'm not asking you to be faithful. Do you want to check out BP Earth? BP Earthwatch's channel. I'm 100% cool with that. Dude puts out some good stuff. J7409. I'm totally cool with that too. Dabu. Suspicious observers. This is not a mon monogamous relationship. So do what you do what you like. But if you like the Thor News videos, I'll keep them coming when I can. So God bless. Stay cool. Don't let the bastards get you down. Because in these crazy times, the bastards may be getting extra bastard powers. See, Bubba don't like the word bastard or bastard. But we get, we cool people, we get extra super cool powers. Awesome powers. Superhero powers. So let us use them. All right. Last night. So, crap. I had a song. And I wanted to sing it. I'm in your groove. It's in my nature. Alright, okay, now I'm done. Forgive me. I bet I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I will have lost. All my subscribers. I guess that's okay. Easy come, easy go. Oh, but if you do stick around, I will tell you about how for my real job this week, me and, my, me and my people are facing off against the White Queen. And she has powers, man. I think I love her. But she does not like me. But no matter what, I can't let her kick my ass. We must overcome and win. All right? And either way, I'm going to send her flowers when it's all done. All right. God bless. I'm really leaving this time. I don't know when I'll see you guys again. But I, I will get back as soon as I can. Adios. Oh yeah, I forgot to add. Remember that red sun I made a video about? It was back again the other day. I took a bunch of photographs. I tried to videotape it. Videotaping of it never really works. You know. But it does look like the old lava lamp. Where it's just like a ball with this cool illuminated liquid inside it's weird okay that was it later uh yeah so i'm gonna get into it this won't be up to my usual standards but if you can hang in there i think i make some good points and maybe even tell a joke okay let's go man this whole no editing thing is super easy like you just talk and then put it up there wow like talking and putting up a single photograph that is so easy, and I just burped, and I'm not even going to edit that out. That is nuts. What is going on? I'm making crappy videos. Dogs are barking. There's no way you're still listening. You had to have tapped out by now. If you are still listening to me talk about nothing, my dog's bark barking in the background, then, well, dang. You are just crazy. Um, you know what I'm going to do? No, I'm not. Wait. Okay, I'm out of here.